Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time. We got a classic one for you guys. What's this, Dan? We're watching Clint Eastwood and Kelly's Heroes. Yeah, we are. Well, let's go watch it, fam. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Looks like they got themselves a hostage. Are they infiltrating right now? Yeah, somebody's not like dressed dress like the others. <laughs> oh no. You bastard. <laughs> they don't care, it's enemies. I know, but I was saying that from the German perspective mm -hmm. there. But if you're an American, it's like ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, this was a top forty song when it came out. Was it really? Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> My God, that was just happening there, okay. In the middle of a field, outside of the town where all the Germans actually are. Okay. <laughs> Look, Mulligan, I don't think I'm getting through to you. You're dropping your damn barrage on our position. No, the crowds are not here. We're here. Mulligan, your bombs are coming down on our heads. Yeah, you're a little bit short of the Germans. They are, aren't they? Jeesh. I thought I told you to bring me some good-looking kid, not this fat, sausage-chewing wino. Damn. <laughs> I'm interested in hotels, okay? They are three. Check the Michelin guide. What about the broads and ants? What? The women! <laughs> I've never been there. Yeah, you have. <laughs> I bet you have. Call me a favor, will you? What? Don't call me Barbara. That's your name, is it? Well, my name's Fabra. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> what are these? Lead bars. Bullshit. <laughs> you coded. You colored those with something. Code name is Tannenbaum. Give me that brandy, will you? What for? Just give me that brandy. Because he's going <laughs> to talk one way or another. Yeah. I'm going to use the carrot first. <laughs> Captain? Yeah, who is it? What are you doing there, sir? I'm checking out the loader. <laughs> We're pulling out of this sector, and I want to see if this boat's worth taking back to the base. That actually has to be against the G Geneva Convention. It's got to be. I don't think you have the welfare of your men at heart. Now look, we've been rained on, pushed on, bombed on, mortared on. <laughs> No, Mulligan base. hates us. Right. <laughs> go get, go figure his name is Mulligan. He s keeps shooting in the same spot. Yeah. I gotta get my men here some broads before they start freaking out with each other. I think I could get this in the hold of a B-17. <laughs> For God's sake. Selfish. Then you're supposed to be in charge of this outfit. If you're doing such a good job, Sergeant, why should I get in your way? Well, get there's a guy who doesn't fight alongside his men. Corporal, those aren't Mulligan's mortars coming down anymore. Those are German 88s. Oh. Oh. I don't want to spend the rest of the war in a prison camp. Beside which, I'm first-generation Italian. They shoot me as a traitor. Mm. Oh, I see why. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, I had to think about that for a second. Mm. How many bars like this in your trucks? Fourteen. Fourteen what? Thousand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a lot of gold. You can keep the, uh, <laughs> captain. <laughs> yeah. I can buy several. Yes. What about is your convoy right now? Claremont is a bank. Bank. Makes sense, yeah. Okay. What about support units? The park. Yeah, Union. tanks. Three tiger tanks. Three tigers? Okay. Mm -hmm. I almost wonder where you got all this gold. Right. I hope it's not from the fillings of your prisoners. Some of it probably is. Yeah. Shoot him, let's get the hell out of here! Shoot him, we don't get the gold. What gold? The gold's in a bank 25 miles east of Nancy. <laughs> Well, they got out right in time. He's walking the wrong way anyways. I was say, he might die anyway. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he did. Shot their own man. Poor visibility, I guess. Eventually, some of that artillery would have hit him. Yeah, right? Wait a minute, will you, Kelly? Will you wait a minute? Wait a minute, Kelly, listen to me a second. Is that you? I, I can't tell one shot from another. They all look alike. If it was me, if I could tell, would I be... Then why are you in charge of the artillery? Yeah. I just want to make a proposition to you. Why you lay down a barrage for me, Mulligan? I gotta have a signed operations order from the CEO, Kelly. We don't have an authorization. You're gonna do this for almost killing us. Yeah, you owe them. Proposition. <laughs> <laughs> proposition, you say? I'm in. <laughs> you won't forget me now, will you? I know. I won't forget, Kelly. You're a good man, Mulligan. Uh, yeah, really. I don't know about that. I'm going after that gold, Joe. You want it? If you whisper one word about the gold to these guys, I'm gonna have you bounce from this outfit so fast your feet won't even touch the ground. 
Gold? What gold? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it 14,000 bars of gold? Yeah. You got some to bargain with, huh? I say you got a whole convoy here. You can find men. I feel like you want to keep this semi-quiet, though. Yeah, well, true, yeah. I've got three days rest for you and the men. Now, I want you to make sure they have a good time. i got to get this shot to Paris and pick up one or two things to the general. And where do we spend this vacation? Right here, Sergeant. What? In this run-down town? There's no booze, there's no broad, there's no action. That's another thing. Don't fool around with the women. Their husbands carry guns. And don't forget the penalty for looting is death. <laughs> Says the man who's looting. Yeah. Hey, Mulligan, i got a target for you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How does he get away with it? That's what I'd like to know. Very simple. The general's his uncle, that's how. Oh, nepotism, that worked. Rap game? I'll talk to you for a couple minutes. Hey. What about? Non Rickles. Mm hmm. And his name is Crap Game? I love it. That is an actual name. That's what I just heard. Crap Game? <laughs> what is it you want? 15 Thompsons, two thirty caliber machine guns, two bazookas, two field radios. What's in it for me? The effect this has on everybody. I know. <laughs> it went so mystified. Yeah. How much more where this came from? 14,000 bars. Hey, sweetheart. Have yourself a bottle of booze. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Where is it? In a bank. It's behind enemy lines. Probably use some armor. What are you doing up there? What? <laughs> what the hell's that? His name's Oddball. Oddball? <laughs> I wonder why. I got three Shermans outside. Who's your commanding officer? He got decapitated by an 88 about six weeks ago. Oh, dang. A Sherman can give you a very nice edge. Tanks will help. Where are these Shermans? Outside. I know where all the babes are now. They're with this guy. There's one up there in the loft. Yeah. How nobody noticed they were there, I don't know. I don't know. What is this, a whole gypsy uh, <laughs> family? It feels like. We like to give the impression that we're just out of action, badly in need of a period of rest and reorganization. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, you look like you need it. They figured it out, man. We got our own ammunition. It's filled with paint. When we fire it, it makes pretty pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we got a loudspeaker here, and when we go into battle, we play music very loud. It calms us down. I don't know if I trust these guys. I don't see any other Shermans. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun here. Are we, cowboy? You can bet your boots on that, partner. Sergeant, partner. Right, Sergeant. All right. <laughs> go. Yeah. I think I've got the crabs. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> I'm going to go down to Battalion, see if I can lay my hands on some dirty movies. And when I come back, I want that farmhouse completely decorated. Do you understand that? That don't sound like fun at all. I don't want half the army in on this, do you? Don't want any friends or any friends of friends. I want to keep it a tight little unit. Right, oddball? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, uh, uh, no sweat, you know. <laughs> That's uh, a committal there. I don't think I trust the word of that. Who is that guy, Crap Game? Oh, his name's Kelly. Used to be a lieutenant. Till they gave him orders to attack the wrong hill. Wiped out half a company of GIs. Oh, no. Somebody had to get the blame, and he got picked. He got busted down to private? It wasn't his fault. You mind I take this... Buy a gold and show it to the boys? No, no, not at all, but just remember where you found it at. You're never going to see that bar of gold again. <laughs> you wait here, Padre. Wait, you brought the Padre with the dirty movies? <laughs> I warned you, if you started anything, I'd bust you out, Kelly. Sixteen million just waiting to be picked up. This guy's going to get you all killed. We're getting killed now, pal, for 50 bucks a month. Damn right. I about to say, this is better. Better pay out. Three days from now, we're going back into the line, Joe. But this time, we're doing it for ourselves. Kelly's even got us armor support. I choose to be rich. I choose to follow Kelly. Who's in command? A guy named Oddball. Oddball? He's a freak! He's got three Shermans all ready to go. He's ready to go. He's a nut. Well, we're all nuts, or we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Fair point. So what happens when Maitland comes and finds out we're not here? He'll figure we've been sent right back to the front lines. Man, he never knows where we are anyway. <laughs> pretty bad. Okay. Show me what you got. Thank you, Jesus, man. <laughs> you sure you got the time straight with Mulligan? Yeah, I got the time straight with Mulligan. Whether Mulligan can tell time or not's another question. Oh, God. Oh. Y'all are dead. Well, at least you went after your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! 
You better be hitting the right part this time. Well, it's working so far. Yep. All right, Mulligan, you've been redeemed. I was worried about four trucks coming through. Yeah, right? That's a pretty risky part of your plan, though. It really is. Oh, my God. No chance. Mm -mm. Woo! <laughs> Oh, uh, close. I think they, I think they just got away with it. I think they did. Okay, Mulligan actually came through. I think he's earned some gold bars. <laughs> the Air Force has got my orders to blow every bridge in this sector out of existence. And the Germans are rebuilding the bridges every night. Well, we're supposed to be blowing them up again in the daytime, Captain. Get me those aerial photographs. Not to say they're going to run out of supplies eventually. Uh huh. Where are those aerial photographs? Sorry, sir, they don't seem to be here. Did you lose my aerial photographs? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> they took them all. <laughs> oh, I know how they got it. He gave him that damn gold bar, didn't he? Probably. Looks like some kind of railroad bridge, huh? Beautiful. Yeah. We still got a river to cross later on. Oh, it's a railroad bridge, isn't it? We swing down onto the railroad tracks and right over the mother bridge. Will that work? Yep, yeah, it should. Okay. If it'll hold the train, it'll hold tanks. Well, it's just different types of tracks, that's the thing. True. How the hell I ever let you talk these guys into this? Push 30 miles behind enemy lines. Going to a town that we don't know how many German soldiers are guarding. Oh, I figure there's between 30 and 40 troops in that town. All right. Mm. How'd you figure 30 or 40 men? Because that's the normal amount of support for three Tiger tanks. Uh, you didn't tell me about the tanks? I was going to tell you about it now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, with these tigers, this operation goes above and beyond the call of duty. Sixteen million above and beyond. Yeah, yeah, you're getting paid above and beyond. I say, you didn't think it'd be easy, did you? Cover! Oh, shit. They saw you in the trees? That's not good. They're American. That's an allied uh, plane. Wave an American flag or something. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Oh, that's the last thing they needed. Well, there goes your supplies. <laughs> this is off to a great start. Are we blaming Mulligan for this one? <laughs> you know we are. <laughs> I told you. We should have never gone in on this deal. Well, you never told me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Joe? What happened? <laughs> Where the hell have you been? I had to go. Taking a shite. <laughs> you didn't hear gunfire? How come you got me elected to carry this thing? You want it into this, Hustler? Then you learn to carry your own load. Come on, move it out. Yeah, rough yours. <laughs> <laughs> German control town here, okay. You said the trains are still working. Hopefully it takes you all the way to the bank. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> These tanks should scare them. I think... <laughs> I mean, not with that music, but it should scare. That's the music they play? Yeah. I should have known better. They weren't going to play ACDC. Okay. <laughs> not in the 40s, they ain't. Oh, my God. Well, these Shermans will come in handy, won't they? Yeah. They just rolled right up their damn tunnel and started blowing them to hell. Yeah. I thought you got good crews here. They got the job done. Yeah. <laughs> well, there ain't nothing left to this town. There you go. Well, now you can move everybody's troops up. <laughs> yeah. Let's call the base. Okay, moving forward. That's right. Working on the railroad. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that before. I buy it. I'll make it fifty dollars if you carry the machine gun, huh? You got it on you? Don't you trust me? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your weight, man. Come on. Still up. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Are they gonna bust the damn bridge? Yep. 
but I. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Are we going to come up with another bridge? Have a little faith, baby. Move on! He is so charismatic, isn't he? He really is. He's not a terrible lady, he's just got a weird personality. That's right. I'm telephoning you from uh, a cafe about 10 miles south of Missouri, and I wondered uh, if you could do me a favor. We haven't even captured that place already. Yes, so I heard. <laughs> <laughs> we just parked our Shermans in here, yeah. I got a bank back here with 16 million, and they're just waiting to be picked up. You in? I need at least 100 guys. Where do I find 100 men just like that? Right there. Yeah. Right outside your window. Take those drums out of their hands and put hammers in them. <laughs> I feel like you're walking in a minefield, but you probably aren't. Oh, it was! It only took them that long to find one. We've walked into a minefield. I think there's a road right up here at the edge of the field. All right, Kelly, you mark that spot and you head for the road. Should we get them all in a straight line somehow? Well, Kelly's the one furthest ahead, so his path should be safe. You Everyone think... can get on it. Yeah, you'd think so. It's going to take him a while, though. That's going to slow him down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, and they and they heard it from somewhere. It's all right up here. Right? Hey, I found one! What kind is it? The kind that blows up! Mark is <laughs> keep moving, hustler. Oh, I feel like these two guys are gonna be exposed. They're falling behind the others. Kelly! Oh boy. You got company. Hey, Joe, there's a patrol coming in. All right, Kelly, spread them out across the road. Move it. Oh, no. There's, yeah, they are exposed back there. Let's just lay low till the fighting's over. I think so. Corporal, you'll never make it. We'll cover you from the road. Don't move unless they spot you. Back dead. Maybe they'll think you got hit by mine. Be your only defense right now. Maybe they'll just drive right here. Be nice. Uh, oh. Oh, no. So much for that. They can they can see the damn bodies from here anyway. Fire! There you go, kill the officer. Yep. We got the jump on him. Let's do it. Easy targets. They all die like. So dramatically. I know. Oh, oh no. Right in the head. Oh, oh man. We lost the other one, too. They cleared them out, but it cost them. A couple of people and a lot of ammo. Uh huh. Just checking on the other guy. It's kind of like what Joe said. You gotta look out for yourselves. Hey! There's a whole column of Shermans coming over the hill. Hey. Excellent. That's more than three Shermans, though. I thought you said three Shermans. Those nuts have brought half the army with them. <laughs> oh, that'll come in handy. We were all promised to share of the gold. <laughs> and you're helping win the war, so it's a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. What is this, a ball game? Who are these guys? They're my friends, Cookin. Friends? Where'd you find them? Here <laughs> What's the deal with the gold? Any man who gets to the town and hits the bank gets an equal share. Okay, but don't try to cross us, buddy. There's gonna be trouble. There's gonna be any double cross. It's gonna be your fat lip. Come on. <laughs> He's not happy about his share getting smaller. Look, man, you needed that bridge to get these Shermans in. Yep. The old man just on the line. He says I've broken through along an entire front. Why wasn't I told? It seems as though someone's found a hole in the right flank. They're trying to push elements of the 321st and the 35th into it. I mean, who's pushing them in there? And where the hell are they? Don't ask questions. We're, we're going to fight a war here. Now, you're not going to find them easy to follow. They're not using normal procedures. They're using some kind of code. Bank heist, crap game, Big Joe, Little Joe. That's not code. That's actual words. Oddball, this is Kelly. Pretty well cleared of infantry. What do you hear from those other two tanks? No chance, man. No, they both had it. One of them's in the river and the other one's on the other side burning. Well, they didn't take long. So you just got one left? Yeah. Kelly, we're all in this together. You can't go alone. We're not going to wait five hours either. If you can't keep up, that's your problem. Attack, attack, attack. They even got the damn grave digger out. 
<laughs> See if you let the soldiers loot more, they'd be more motivated. Exactly. <laughs> on the side they need to be on? I don't know how they got over there. Let's see, I thought this bridge wasn't any good. That's what I heard. Sponsor, you get my box of medals. I'm going to decorate every man in this penetration, whoever they are. You're the guy supposed to be fighting this battle. You don't even know where in the hell it is. Well, I'll tell you where it is. It's 30 miles beyond where you thought it was. Put your gun away. <laughs> That's a bit aggressive, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, get out of chicken. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Run, chicken. <laughs> Kelly, we're in the bell tower of the church. You can see the whole town from up here. They're on. already in position? Okay. Nice. Three tigers in the square right down below us. Can you see anything that looks like it might house support units? Well, there's a big brown building right behind the bank. There's a German officer walking around the bank towards the brown building. I think he's going to ticket number two. <laughs> Not useful intel. Cowboy. Yeah? In 20 minutes, I want you to start ringing that bell. And keep ringing as long as you can. Got it? Right, Kelly. Kotowski, five minutes after that bell starts, you get the guards on top of the bank. Okay, Kelly. So the bells, how they're going to smuffle the sound? Mm, this should work. Tigers are no joke, man. They were a problem mm -hmm. in World War II. Good thing for us they were running out of oil. Right. <laughs> Good thing for us they were all sitting in towns guarding banks instead of fighting. They were taking care of the important work, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Infiltration. Well, they have like no perimeter security, do they? No, they do. I think they're really just guarding the bank. <laughs> They've got all those tigers fired up down there, and it looks like they're getting ready for some heavy duty action. Well, that's just routine. Yeah. The tigers turn their engines over for like 20 minutes every three, four hours. Hey, look, you know, if those engines are turning over, we can sneak right up the edge of town. Nobody will hear us, right? Right. All right, let's go. Oh, what they wouldn't give for some javelins right now. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> right? <laughs> No, yeah, there you go. Nice and quiet. Suddenly I'm hungry for burgers. I don't see why. I don't know what the hell you're going to do here, man. <laughs> they position themselves so that they will not be taken by surprise. Right. You hit one, they're going to know you're there. Yeah. Damn machine gun sticks out like a sword. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and they're so close, too. Feels like go time. Yeah, this bell start. He's going to go deaf from all this. <laughs> he might. All right, let's go. Switch it on and move it up. The alley looks way too narrow. It is ridiculously narrow. Okay, good one. Good and quiet. Kutowski! Kutowski! Oh, no. They're gonna hear anything right there. We didn't think about that, did we? Bell's making no. so damn much noise, he can't hear what we're saying. I thought that was what you wanted! So the Germans can't hear us. Works both ways. Yeah, man. There's always a situation you can't account for sometimes. What do you do? Just plant a bomb? I guess so. Yeah, you're rolling around them and they don't hear you. That's good. Mostly everything's going according to plan. Mostly. So you're pretty much in the center of town now. You're just right outside of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, make a move. Oh. 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 All right. There you go. One down. One down. You got the officer on another one. Here you go. Get him coming out the damn door. Perfect bottleneck right there. Oh, this sniper's doing good work. He's a, he's a good one, isn't he? He's doing God's work up there. All right, you got him on all the vantage points of that brown building, huh? Yeah, this place is on lockdown.
Okay, right, okay, he won that. He woo! <laughs> Did he win that? I was worried there for a minute. Let's go! Oh man! I left. So they just blew up the brown big. No more reinforcements for them, huh? Yep. Should be all the infantry. And they're coming after you. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> They were one second too late on that shot. Crap game. Yeah. Oh, just <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> well, you got a proper name right now, don't you? Mm hmm. <laughs> Crap game for real. <laughs> Knock it off with those fakakamami bells. You guys smell like you fell into a dung heap. Kind of makes you homesick, don't it? Oh. <laughs> oh, good one. All right, crap game. Well, it does kind of, don't it, old buddy? Yeah. Jeez, really? <laughs> So you weren't supposed to agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got him. Fire! Fire with an actual shell. <laughs> That's paint. Hold up. <laughs> oh, right. how, how lucky are you right now? He's stuck. This worked out so well. <laughs> Good. Jesus. <laughs> Leave the paint rounds at home. <laughs> really? All right. Bank's yours, I guess. Oh, he's got y'all. Oh, no. Oh, is that crap game? I think so. He's destroying all the covers, what he's doing. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm drinking wine and eating cheese. The tank's broken and they're trying to fix it. Then why the hell aren't you up there helping them? I only ride them. I don't know what makes them work. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have cheese, but we are drinking wine, fam. Yep. How things going with the bank? The shaman's broken down and nobody's gonna move that tiger out of the square. Make a deal. What kind of a deal? A deal deal. If the guy's a Republican. <laughs> he might be a capitalist, huh? I'm sure he's susceptible to a good bribe, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's turned into a western. <laughs> it feels like it too. Showdown, little Claremont. Yeah. Waiting for a tumbleweed to go blowing by. Oh, up. God. You know, they came from Italy originally, right? I know. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Looks like they're preparing for the gunfight at the OK Corral. <laughs> well, you're going to blow Clint Eastman's head right <laughs> off. It's like, man, one of you is getting a shell. <laughs> In about a half an hour, the whole American army is going to be coming down that road. I have orders. This bank isn't to fall into the hands of the American army. Sergeant, this bank's not gonna fall in the hands of the American army. It's gonna fall in our hands. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's inside that bank, man? There's 16 million dollars worth of gold in that bank, sweetheart. His eyes opened up. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do to have an equal share of this money, blow a hole in that door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer that question. Okay. Oh. Hello, baby. Yes. That'll work. Congratulations, boys. You're all rich. If you can get it back. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Load it up, boys. Okay. Even the German guy, he didn't. <laughs> there's no flags here right now, huh? Yep. What are you gonna do with yours, Kelly? Get me a new Hudson with an electric shift. That's it. <laughs> Maybe buy some land. Somewhere. I told you it worked. Maybe. I told you. Nah, you never told me. <laughs> you never told me. Come on, Barbara, keep it moving. Yeah, keep it. But... Problem is, I feel like a uh, general's gonna show up any second. Right. You're gonna have somebody else to bribe. <laughs> okay, crap game. We got our cut, and we're moving up. Take it easy, kid. See you, Big Joe. Okay, stay lucky, you nut. Their gold is nice and safe on their tank. Yeah. Assuming you don't break down. Right. Well, we gone now. Well, you take care of yourself now, huh? Thank you. No. Wrong salute. 
We don't agree in that thing here, man. That's more like it. Uh, Vita Zane. Force a habit for him, I think. Yeah. Oh, they're taking the tiger. Oh, crap. I didn't <laughs> notice that. Joe, the general, he's on the edge of town right this minute. Okay, Gatowski, you go help him with the gold. The general! Eisenhower! Eisenhower, that's right. Let me go! <laughs> They got their attention. Oh, that's what they were trying to get these guys to do. Yeah. You want, they're trying to stall the general. Yeah. yeah. Come on, silly moment. The cavalry's coming down the road. I say, he's still not loaded up. What the hell are they saying, Maiden? They seem to think you're De Gaulle. De Gaulle! You ain't even in this part! He's American! Oh, my God. That is true red, white, and blue there. Right? Like every Frenchman had an American flag in their house just waiting for this moment. Right? Did these guys just get away with it? Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Up yours, baby. <laughs> oh, man. I love a happy ending for the boys here. Yeah. They fought for that. They fought and some of them died, but they got what they came for. They did. Fantastic. You know, the whole time watching this, the thing that was kind of making me nervous was, is this whole thing going to go bust because the general's going to show up at the nick of time to stop it? Mm -hmm. And they're going to take it all for themselves? Or how is that going to go? But it didn't work out like that. It what? worked out in the right way. It's amazing because they have all this aerial intel in the area, but nobody seems to realize that, hey, there's a small group of guys walking through and just taking everything out. Right? <laughs> like, where's your intel at there? Like, how do you not notice three Sherman tanks rolling through the French countryside? What I don't know is how far into France they actually were here. Because, I mean, they're liberating one town at a time mm -hmm. in, the, in the middle of this war. So it's really just kind of the next one. But, like, how far from, I guess, say, uh, like, Cherbourg are they to, to in, inward France, you know? When the movie started, they were close to Nancy, which I think is actually in the eastern part of France. Okay, so they were coming up from the Italian side then. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Possibly? Wait, wait, Eastern, Eastern, sorry. Eastern, that means they're close to getting out of France, then. More, yeah, more than likely. they got to be getting close to the border because, also, too, I noticed on the tank there, the one they end up taking at the end, it had the little key on there, the little papal key. Is that the one with, like, the, that thing? No, 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 it was, it's an actual key. It's, you see it on the back oh, of the Oh, wait, tank. I saw it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's that little white key. That's, I think that's supposed to be like a symbol of Rome because that's the papal keys that they put on the on the uh, Vatican flag. Okay. So I think I think they're probably pretty close to the Italian border. Okay, good. Yeah. So yeah, this is the group that I guess invaded from the Mediterranean side. No, but, they, they said they were coming in from Omaha. I think they just made it all the way across France by this point. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because France's topography changes the more you go towards the Mediterranean. Right. Like it starts to look more deserty like that i guess would be a good way to put it i don't know a little a little drier than the average yeah so i'm not entirely sure where claremont is but i'm guessing it's somewhere on the eastern side okay yeah. great cast mm. donald sutherland clint eastwood don rickles yes all these other guys they've seen in other films too but now they may have had smaller roles here but still you recognize the faces right funny as hell man i was i wasn't expecting all that like they all had their own quirks about them yeah. and then there was private kelly there who you got a little backstory on him. He, he was an officer, and then he mm -hmm. got bumped down to private. Uh, but he was still in charge of this thing, and Joe and Big Joe just kind of let him do it. Yeah. He's like, this is your show, because you found out where it was. So. Well, considering Kelly's background, it's no surprise that he would want to you know, go against Army Orders and do something, too, because Army Orders got him where he is. They screwed him. Yeah. So good for him, good for him then. Yeah. He's going to get out of this with something. Oh, yeah, most well, certainly. Here's a question, though. How the hell are you going to get it back? That I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Crap game has connections. I'm surely, surely they can find somebody to smuggle it back. And the other thing too is you are in Allied territory still. So there's nothing stopping you from rolling up to a bank, depositing the money into the bank, and then just nobody knows about it. There's that. Yeah. Yeah, just bribe, just bribe the bank official with a couple of bars of his own. Right. Say, all right, man. Hey, we need to put this all in here, and then we'll uh, get a cashier's check for it <laughs> later on. You just roll into Paris, deposit it to your account, and. 
take it up in the U.S. Right? Now, I thought some of these soldiers made a really good point, because they're all getting paid, what, 50 bucks a month to fight in this war? You know, that's, that's a pretty small price to pay for your life, potentially. So it was nice that they were able to do something about that and put their lives on the line for something bigger, potentially, I guess. And the thing is, they actually helped the war effort in the process, too, because they gained 30 miles of ground, so... They did, and they gained a whole town for it. Yeah. Yeah, works so, out. So you're still, you're still helping your country, you're still helping your allies, and you're getting paid for it. It's, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Win-win, right? Yeah. As opposed to, like, maybe dying just to hold a position somewhere, you know, you got something out of it. 30 miles is 30 miles, man. You compare that to World War One. Where it's like you're fighting for every inch. Right. I'll take 30 miles. I say that, that's big gains. Absolutely. So. And you can tell too, because you know, the general there, he was super excited when he found out. <laughs> right? Even though he's not to go, but I mean. Right. <laughs> who gave him that information? Was it the was it the guru, the guru there that gave him that information? What? Uh, saying, hey, De Gaulle's coming? Yeah, because uh, Big, jo Big Joe told the guy that he was De, the, that he was De Gaulle. They so had they De also... Gaulle on some of their signs. I guess, Eva de Gaulle or whatever? I guess they just assumed it was coming in. Probably more of a continuity issue. All right. <laughs> That's funny. You know, one thing I was thinking about, because normally when we watch these war movies, we talk about the history behind it. This being such a fictional film, I figured there wouldn't be a whole lot to actually discuss on that front. Turns out I was wrong. So I actually looked it up. This is loosely based on an actual event. Hmm. So during the war, the... Uh, the main German bank in Berlin got hit by bombing, and so they had to move all the gold reserves out of that bank, and they spread it out across the across the country. Okay. After the war, some former Nazi soldiers and some American soldiers found out about a stash of this stuff in Bavaria, and then they went and they stole that gold, and it's never been accounted for. Wow. Yeah. They had to get that clean somehow. They yeah. didn't uh, have any use of it. So it's a little bit different in the film because it was after the war. They didn't have to fight to get it. But they were, you did have the point where they were cooperating together to go find this gold and taking it back with them. Bavaria, I'm not surprised because it was like where like the highest ranking like officials were, like the most German of the German. Yeah, because so, yeah. my understanding is it's supposed to be like a resort town, so it was pretty pretty upscale. Yeah, but they the, buried it in the mountains up there somewhere. And... Yeah, yeah, your veritable who's who towns up there, mm -hmm. especially up where Hitler had his uh, eagle's nest. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, then I'm not surprised by that. Uh, one of these days we'll have to watch uh, Band of Brothers mm -hmm. because they go, in one of those episodes, they go up into Bavaria too. They make it all the way into Austria. So oh, okay. that's kind of cool. You get to see all those different countrysides and whatnot, mm -hmm. but you see all these places. And you do see like the soldiers taking full advantage of getting what they can out of this. So. Right. So I guess it's not, while the story itself, like like you said, it's loosely based on a true story there. Uh -huh. The story itself may not have been the actual truth, but it's tied to things that actually happened. People did loot and take what they could home. Oh yeah, for sure. The only real downside, as you kind of pointed out in the movie too, is some of this is probably stuff that was stolen from other countries during the Nazis' war. So, uh... and that's the scare, and that's kind of the dark side of it. Yeah, because that gold could have come out of the fillings of like Jew Jewish people they'd get killed, gypsies they'd killed, things mm -hmm. like that. I say this is probably stuff that got stolen from France, even possibly. Sure. So, sure. effectively, you know, you're hurting innocent people by taking this money that was rightfully theirs. It's kind of the downside of the story they don't really point out, but. There's a there's a question of morality there for sure. Well, I mean, you're robbing so, a bank. Yeah. <laughs> there's already moral questions. <laughs> yeah, but you're robbing a you're robbing a bank from the Germans. So, True. and they've already occupied France. So, I mean, how bad is that really? Right. It's not like you're going into small town America and just taking this one. You've liberated an entire town, and you went in and you went in there with the intentions of you know doing your part at the very least. Mm -hmm. But you knew you were getting something out of it. That's yeah. the only argument I've got, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit of something. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of BS, but hey. <laughs> but as far as uh, you know, historical stuff, a couple of other things. Like Oddball had pointed out, the Tigers, you know, their big weakness was in the rear. We've I knew seen, that, yeah. We've seen that in other films like Fury. They discuss these same, same things as well. And then another thing, too, is at the very beginning, when they're interrogating the, uh, the German officer about the gold, you know, Big Joe tells him to pull out the Michelin Guide. That was actually a thing back then. Right. Because the, the Germans kept tearing down all the signage, so they the, the invading forces had no idea where they were going, so they would bring Michelin guys with them to find out where all the big places were in town. Oh, okay. And he kept asking about these places, so, and it took me a minute there to wonder, like, why are you asking about hotels? Because they're just bombing the crap out of everything. 
Like, what what good is this going to do? But in all in all, in all, he was asking all this because his guys had R and R coming up. Right. So he wanted to make sure they had a comfy place with with uh, chicks and booze and good food to to stay at. Exactly. For a few days and get off their feet. So. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. I was sitting there wondering about that, and then the then the commanding officer went and screwed him over so he could get his yacht out. And from the beginning, they're they're all being pretty selfish about this. They don't worry about the fight. They just worry about what do I do when I relax. Look, I mean, you see what your commanding officer was busy doing. You saw it was important to him. Right. Why should you not get yours, too? Oh, absolutely. So. I mean, I'd, I'd do the same thing in their place. You know. Yeah, I mean, if, if he didn't do that, you know, you probably wouldn't have the story. Maybe. I mean, I'm maybe, sure. Maybe you would have. You probably just had a different reason to do it. But, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're going to do what you want to do out there, you know, after months of fighting if you want to relax you're going to relax right loved all these characters they all had fun quirks about them mm -hmm. wasn't a whole lot of character development but i don't think it was necessary in this movie uh because there was a goal in mind right so this is all about the heist it wasn't about the characters or anything like that the characters just make it better because like you said they have you no know, odd odd personalities I think Big Joe and uh, Crap Game had themselves a little bit of development between them mm -hmm. because they did, they did like well, I mean, it took some gold, but they did come to respect each other once they had that. So I think Big Joe is probably the biggest development there because you know we see him being you know this real tough guy, such a hard ass. He's, he's trying to lead his guys and you know keep them straight and on the straight and on the narrow, and uh, you know he just kind of loosens up at the end. He's like, okay, I'll play along. Yeah, right. I dug it, though. It, it was cool with me. Fam, I think we'll leave it there. As always, if you're brand new to this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, guys, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.